Woo! Clap for all all right, all right, all right. Hey guys, this is Hollywood Today Live, digital edition on Bite Size TV, coming to you right from the heart of Hollywood on the corner of Hollywood and Vine. I'm Tanner Thomason. And I'm Kristen Brockman, and today we've got a twofer for ya. Both of them star <laughs> in the new comedy, Chicks Dig Gay Guys. Yes, they do. Now available to stream on demand through iTunes, YouTube, Amazon, and Google Play, so there's no excuse not to watch it. Plus, one of our guests actually wrote the film and produced it. We'll let you guess who. Please welcome Nathan Anderson and Mary Legault. Hi, guys. Okay, so I feel like the title of the film is pretty self-explanatory about what this film is about, but mm -hmm. go ahead and give us a little rundown. Yeah, it doesn't leave a lot of mystery. <laughs> um, so it's, it's basically, it's about two guys that act gay to get women, and that's just uh, their tactic. It's how they get comfortable with them, and uh, yeah, they get into a lot of trouble <laughs> doing and, so. And this was inspired by True, true story, true, true events. Life, right? Sorry, mom. Um, but yes, uh, yeah, I used to go out in LA and act gay at bars to get women. It, and it worked. worked phenomenally well. Tell us the story. How how does how does that work? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was just one of those things I'd always noticed that that uh, gay men always were surrounded by beautiful women, and uh, I was out one night with some buddies and decided to just go for it and popped out in front of a group of girls and did the best gay impersonation I knew how. Which is, oh my God, those shoes are like so effing cute. Oh. No one here has any style, <laughs> uh, and uh, the response was amazing. So then it just kind of cartwheeled from there and ended up. Uh, Kind of becoming this fun like alter ego okay, kind of a game. Okay, but did I'm sure, yeah. When did it come crashing down? <laughs> when did it not come crashing down? <laughs> yeah. it was the, no, um, yeah, there were some really interesting situations that would come about. You know, where you had to really think on the fly where where a girl would want to introduce you to her real gay friend. That oh, was always an awkward one. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and so then you quickly <laughs> try to exit that situation <laughs> as fast as possible. <laughs> like you know. I really got to go. Did you ever get action, though, because of this? Uh, yes. Oh! Yes. oh. Definitely. Uh, I believe that, because I'm pretty sure I've dated some gay guys. You know, <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? every woman I wants to change a gay guy. Yeah. Mary, Mary, what was your experience with this film? When, when Nathan, when you first heard about this project, was it something you were like, yes, immediately I'm going to do this, or did it take a little coaxing? It, you know, it was actually totally random. I was at an audition for something else, and his casting assistant runs up to me, and they're like, oh my god, I know you're busy. Could you please audition for this film? And I was like, o okay, what is it? <laughs> and all they told me was the title, and I said, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I auditioned, and I got it, and there, that, that was it. Do you and have a lot of gay awesome. guy friends? Of course. Yeah. Please. You're a chick in LA. Yeah. We all do. <laughs> we all do. Um, so oh, tell me about, because this is something I'm super interested in, tell me about your decision to go with this distribution model, like distributing it online and how that how how that has been working out for you. Uh, it's been going great. I think the uh, the title and the subject matter is pretty interesting, and we felt that we could get a lot of buzz around it. So it's really just trying to, you know, get the magic of the interweb into play. Mm -hmm. And um, passing it around and uh, yeah, just creating buzz. Well, I heard that you had some sort of run-in with some thugs on the set. Oh, while filming, yeah, that was an interesting Tell day. Tell us about that. Um, so yeah, we, we ended up renting uh, a, a club from who we thought was the owner, long I mean, story thugs short. thugs is how they were described in my notes. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, I don't know what I don't know they, who they, they were. They were extremely, thug I'll, I'll not name names because he's actually like a really like well-known person. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't know him until I met with him, but long, <laughs> long story short, I ended up in the back of a Range Rover uh, with like two huge thugs in the front seat and I was talking to Pimp Daddy G in the back. <laughs> and. Uh, all while in my like full on blush and like boa and uh, yeah they were very kindly shaking me down for some money and you know very upset that I was filming in their club and uh, that was really exciting and awkward but fun to look back and laugh now but I thought I was gonna die uh, at the time <laughs> but uh, it worked out I'm I'm here at the moment you survived yeah. you're here <laughs> right still paying off that debt yeah Mary w this this film I, I only got to see the trailer I haven't seen the full okay. thing yet and it strikes uh me as a, a kind of a crazy comedy. Um, what can you tell us about your favorite day on set? Um, there's a lot of favorite days on set. We got really close the whole cast, and we had a lot of fun filming. Probably too much fun because crew had to keep telling us to shut up and get to work. <laughs> <laughs> but one day we were shooting up um, in like the Malibu Hills, and we had to walk to set like a quarter mile, like mm -hmm. to where we were actually shooting. So by the time we left 
you know, the trailers and got up to set, we had all just gone off on our own thing, climbing rocks and going in rivers here. Mm -hmm. So that was probably my favorite day. We all just took our cameras and while we were going to set, we were just walking off and exploring in the mountains. Just your job. It was so random, but it, we it's had a great time. Start getting things on schedule. Yeah, and then yeah, they'd have to yell at us and get us all back together, and we'd be good, and then we'd be fine. But <laughs> it yeah. was a very fun day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a long, cold day, but it was fun. Yes. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Uh, once again, Chicks Dig Gay Guys is available now. Check it out on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, and YouTube. All that, and keep watching if you want more of the latest in Hollywood from Hollywood right here on Bite Size TV.